thought I'd do a video of me doing this press up with the block splitter so what I've done with modifications and stuff like that we've still got the normal plate that goes in the front there and um, all that sort of thing but before I get it too far into it, this um, thank you to all of those that have subscribed for all the new subscribers thank you very much um, this has been one of the eventful things that I've been doing for a long time now um, I was using the super cheap um, you can call it Harbour Freight whatever you like to call it um, shop press I've upgraded the jack it's just a normal jack uh, this was what it was in there uh, it's starting to get a bit worse for wear and I've had to repair it twice um, it's only a 12 ton uh, no, I've got a 20 ton in there now so I don't know how that's going to work I did find that in the in the trash so and I had a handle sitting here at home nice handle that actually fits the whole lot there so we can sort it all out and I haven't modified any of the headstock up here, so it's only just sitting in there. It's a bit longer than the actual 12 ton, but it still works. I tried it out, it's still okay. So we won't be going to the maximum on that. It's just enough to press all the aluminium up anyway. So what I've done with modifications to this, because this actually sits on top of those bars down there. Um, what I've done is, I'll just lift it off. It is a monstrosity. Oh, Strut, got to watch my cord here. Hit the cord down. All right, so what I've done, you could, you've seen the strap on the top, the ratchet strap, um, and what I've done underneath here, I've put a couple of bars here so that it actually sits down in, inside there, like in, into the grooves. Um, that way it doesn't get a twist up. I've got the strap on, the, the ratchet strap on there so I can go underneath it you'll see how I do that um, and when I was doing <coughs> my copper one you know pulling all the um, windings out of the motors and that sort of thing it gave me a brainwave because I never used to have this piece and I was always putting this directly up against that piece there and I was putting pieces of hose slicing a piece of hose and fitting it over it and that sort of thing and it was always cutting so I thought well I'll do this and it doesn't actually touch there, only a little bit, but slide it on. The ram can go all the way back. So it's it's full extent. So that way it's got a flat section here for the base to go against. But what I've also had to do with this here is on the bottom base, because this base comes off to press it all out through that there, through the hydraulic press. Um, I still do use it because this is only nine ton. We got 20 ton there, so plenty of power um, But yeah, what I had to do is cut this out here. So it's the same and nice and flat So it goes on the bed there uh, I couldn't find any way this is any other way. This is the piece that actually I've taken out of there um, Cut a little bit more out. So when I when I'm pressing the press into here using the block splitter and this is laying down I use that as a flat level for when this is actually on there so I can slide directly inside because I could put a couple of plates they're sitting over there one each side there and there and it pushes the whole plate in so and I've done it many times it's been successful um, so anyway we'll get to and start pressing some of this up it does take a bit of time this is how I usually do it Good way to keep fit this too. Um, now this hockey strap, you'll see how that works. It's just to hold the flat plate on. So anyway, I've got a numerous of bottle top lids in here. Put that into there. I use the uh, hammer to hammer it down to fit a lot, lot in. We'll be able to put all of this in here today. And still have plenty of room it'll amaze you like this is oh probably a 40 50 litre tub this is what I mean by use the hammer pound it down make it fit
been accumulating these bottle tops. Wine bottle tops they are. Great assortment of them. Time to get them all pressed up. Get them all compacted. It's not the easy way, it's a slow way, but I find it efficient. Even aluminium cans that don't go through our machine, like this one here, the barcode's all buggered up on that, so we put it in here. All sorts of aluminium, like aluminium cans that haven't got the 10 cents on them. Don't think that one has. No, it hasn't. That's all right, we can put it there. It is a finicky job, trying to get it all together. Hold the hand over it so it doesn't spill everywhere. I've already got some in here, already pressed up. The aluminium foil's even better, it doesn't jump out. So we'll get a bit of some of that in there as well. Mix it all up. Now what, we, what I usually do is I get a fair bit in here. I could probably stomp my foot on it even. I'm not gonna try it. I was only thinking. Have a couple more handfuls. Then we'll put the plate on the top. I make sure that the chain's facing away from me because this is the bottom. If the chain's down below, I can't do anything with it. So I put it now. Why I put the chain on there? So if this ever get, this top plate ever gets stuck in there, I can actually pull it out with a normal tire lever because it's got the hook on it. I'll put a bit, bit more of a hook on it so we can put the chain in there and pull it out. Simple Simon. Right, now, this is where it gets technical. Grab the strap. I've got a couple of holes down the side. You can see one here, probably. That hooks into that so it doesn't come off. Flip the chain up. Make sure it's all tucked in. Well, I try to anyway. Strap it all in, hook it in, that side's in, lift it up, put it up here and nolly dooly. This is where it gets heavy. Lay it down. Just flops into place really. Now, what I was explaining before, when I first started is that I pull this up and I put that underneath it's the same thickness material as what I've, what this is here um, I think it's eight mil I'm not sure what it is eight mil probably quarter mil quarter inch I should say for all the people overseas in different states um, I've made it out of 200 by 200 don't know what that is I think that's eight inches by eight inches um, RHS, we call it RHS here Australia, I don't know what you call it over there, but, um, and then I just got a piece of uh, same thickness for the bottom flat, flat plate down here, uh, just purchased those two pieces, they, well actually these three pieces, this one was made to go inside, this one was made bigger to do what it's doing here, so that's all it is there. And these wing pieces at the side, they're actually two pieces of angle line welded together as a box. So it fits inside this slot. That's why I've done that. Now this just hooks up to here. Once I start pressing, this can come off. Let me get that underneath that. Otherwise, we won't get it off. Uh, we can go over the top, I suppose, because there is a hole there. It's not going to harm it. I 
specifically cut the strap short to actually make sure it wasn't going to be too long I haven't got my goddamn glasses on but there we go doing well right that'll just hold it down to stop it from kicking up if it does ever kick up um, right so now our two blocks of steel this is where the strap gets in the road chain out of the road up there foot pedal I got the foot pedal working properly what the issue was with the foot pedal wasn't the pedal itself it was the connection right here um, apparently I didn't fix it properly didn't well didn't solder it properly so I got in and fixed it up anyway we got it all working strap up <laughs> This is where I've got to realign it. Just use this. Realign that plate. Uh, hammer over there. I'll use this one. That'll do. There we go. It's in there now. Give it a small release. So I can grab them again. Now it's, I've been doing this for a while now with this. And I've found it pretty safe because I let it go. I've got to put it up a fair height. I try to keep them level so nothing goes bang crash. I haven't had that happen yet. Touch wood. Yeah, let it go. Pull that piece out. Give it a rest. And that's it. Presses up aluminium. Loving it. You've seen how it started lifting up and lifting up. That's the main reason why I've got that strap on there. I don't want it going catapulting out the, out the back of it. So we'll just keep going, I suppose. Uh, undo the strap. That's a good way of having that. Straight up and over. Undo that. Pull that out. Becomes a quick process when you've got it working properly. Uh, pull our plate. Actually, the plate can come down here. That's where I'll need it. Lift it off. Back down and put some more in. But you can see how it's pressed it up. It hasn't quite pressed it up in this corner here. And that's when it, I bring it over there and I actually put more, put more pressure on it. Add on to that. That can stay on there. Put a lot of these bottle tops in there. used to take me a long time to do this just by that and when I actually take this out of here I undo four bolts which you can see I've welded on the bottom uh, just the nuts I have so you can undo the bolts It's going fine. Right, get those pieces in. from hairdressers and that sort of thing oh, there's a bit of hair we don't want that in there bit someone's DNA can't have that oh, that to there I need a heavier pounder 
This is only an eight kilo. Don't know what that is in pounds. I'll look it up for you all. Give that a squash up. Wait, that up top, there's one there. That up and over. Hook him on. Lift it up. Stay fit doing this, lifting this up and down. There you unreal oh, only gonna get heavier and heavier every, every time you put more in it like that tub probably weighs hmm, probably two three kilos with all of that in there I'm only guessing not sure what it would weigh but when I've pressed it all up it comes down to be about sometimes six or seven kilos of aluminium pressed up aluminium and I actually get more money pressing it up in by kilo having pressed it like that than what I do like that that being loose I get I think it's uh, 20 or 30 cents less per kilo so I'd rather press it up makes it look clean it's over can adjust it before you start. Oh, I haven't put my strap on. Bit of a mistake on my half. I can see it lifting. Come on, get in there. Get your little snakey in there. Pretty overcast day today too. Right, we'll let a bit of pressure off that and let that go down. Get a bit more pressure on the strap. And I've rounded the edges off on this so the strap's not going to get cut on the other side and this side. So I could have put it either side, it wouldn't have mattered. It's just the way I put it on when I was when I welded it. there, that to there, stand back I suppose, <laughs> certainly stretches it, puts it to the pressure, I don't think I'd have it any other way, really. Yeah. I'll go as far as I can with the press here, then I put it into that. That's how I'll be doing it. Oh, this is the finicky part. I'm trying to get this off all the time. It is only an elastic strap. I don't feel like holding it all the time. It's like having a second hand. There we go. Pull top there. But as you can see, inside here, it's actually going one way. There's not much I can do about that. It's pressing more one side than the other. It's only because it's pushing uphill. Well, it seems to be like that. It's because it is only a log splitter and that sort of thing. Uh, block splitter. Anyway. See how far we can go with putting all this through. Might put you all on a time lapse. We've seen a couple done. And I'll bring this back. I'll stop the time lapse when I go to put it in there and we'll see how far we can put it through. See how much we can press it down. Probably the best. So cue the music for the time lapse, I suppose. Here I am with a movie 
you started Fizzing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere I don't need any hero to save me I don't know why the kids always crying I've been thinking about all the captains But we left in a wasted planet I thought I had it Right, this is where it gets technical. Um, I've got a couple of extra pins that didn't come with this press. I thought I'd better get in and press that side down. I've still got a fair bit to do there. This will actually press that down probably halfway, that sort of thing. So I've just got to lift this up, make sure that that stays on there. So that goes to there, put that pin into there, keeps it up, that way I can lift this floor up. Gives me a bit of space, then I take these out, put them down lower. I don't have to, but I do anyway. Because this can move side to side, things like that. There's not much movement in there. And as you can see, there's not much there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the plate in this way. So I want the chain facing me, grab our jack handle. Pop that into there, grab our blocks that we've been using, put one in there for extra strength. We'll put the other one in there as well. And a few others that we've got. Make sure they're nice and flat. These ones didn't come with it, but every little bit's gonna add up. That should be enough. Put that there. Should be right to go. That's actually got to come across to there. Like I said, it's only just sitting there, so I've got to be careful how I do this one. That's pretty even there. Okay. See if we're done up. Yeah, we're done up. But it is 20 ton. Let me just jack it away. I'll do it quickly this way first. Get it down, get it started. I could have left the normal 12 ton in there. But I thought, no. Nah, see how much the press can take. I've been using it for a couple of days now. See how it's straightening that out? It's the main reason why I still use this. That's compressing it a lot more. Still labor intensive. So if I want to put more pressure on that, all I do is I turn the plates up on their side, which you'll see shortly. That's going down with ease. I can only go so far down. We're almost there. I did have to put extra springs on this too. That's about it there. It's at its limit. Not a bad jack for getting it out of a bin. That's a couple of videos back. A couple of weeks back, I think. 
Right, that should be able to go up on that. No. Go this one down there. Take that out, actually. Do this one on its own. Up on its edge. See all the juices pushing out. We should. If there's any left in there. Resi residual juices. Probably from hair cell on or something like that. You just never know what's in the aluminium. I'll probably only do this this second time. Because I'm not sure how much the whole contraption can hold. And I don't want to get damaged myself. I don't want to damage myself could say that's a fair bit of pressure <clears throat> oh yeah I don't know what the breaking strain of those pins are either do that that's more than what I'd be able to do with the other oh yeah, yeah a couple extra strokes that's a lot more than what I can do with that other oh yes a lot of pressure there oh and it started tilting the other way too so lucky I did stop would have went bang on me otherwise so we've pressed more on that far side now than what we have on this side. So we should be able to take it out. Sit that there. Sit that there. Sit that back over there. Not that we do, don't actually need them. Need that one and that one. Uh, put this back up here. It's just in reverse. And then we just lower this back down, just to pull it back out. You see how it's gone that way, where it was the other one, when we before we put it in there, it was the opposite way. So we'll put some more in there. Keep going. That's a full can. Didn't realise it was in there. about the only thing I don't like about it.
Papier. got stuck everyone, it got stuck. This is what I'm talking about. Couldn't pull it out. Had to use it. <clears throat> right, we are just about You wouldn't think that, that would fit in this. It's not quite a full block yet. Basically the same process over and over till you think you've got enough. Going walk about. That up through there. Nice cold day to do this. 
That way you can keep warm while you're doing it. You don't get cold. <sighs> One more pull. That's it there. Right. Don't need our little block. It's already recessed in. Tell you what, if I think it was any bigger, like in tonnage, um, <laughs> I think it'd break that strap. It'd certainly break the strap. Right, that is there, that is there. The rest in. That's it. Then we'll put it in there, I suppose. Probably the best thing for us to do now. Put it in there. was never supposed to be simple, I suppose. But, we all work it in the end, work around it. Slide that in there. Did I see another one here somewhere, another bottle top? I thought I heard one drop on the ground. Oh, we'll get him later. There he is, way down yonder. Add him to the pile. This is the last one. That's all we've got here. Press it all up, get it done. Grab these two. Let me pick the one. Have our jack handle. Really crushing it down.
quite a lot of pressure. We'll make that do. That's more than what that one would be doing. A 12 tonner. By a long shot. And it would have bellied out by now. Anyway, that's how we do it here. That's how we're pressing up all the aluminium with the log splitter. Uh, got to empty that can out yet. Don't know how old it is. And we still use this in anyway. So, brought up a sweat. Perspiration. Whatever you call it. It's raining on the rock. My rock, my head. But anyway, I'll grab it out. Better still, give us a look. Here you go. That's how far down it's gone from that being full um, to being empty. In a matter of, don't know how much how much time it's taken, but in all in all, this is how it actually comes out as. I'll lift one out for you all. I wrap cable ties around it so it stays together. Um, I put it in there so we don't get mice attracted to it or birds, no, wildlife, that sort of thing. Because they do scratch at it. I don't know why. Probably because it's still got a bit of fat, oily residue on it. But, um, yeah, it's, I just keep the lids open. That way they vent. And, uh, yeah, we've got a fair bit to put through. Got all our scrap out here. Cast alloy. Um, another cast alloy. Our, Log of uh, aluminium wire, we've still got more to do. Um, cast that uh, extruded alloy, and then we've rendered here. We've got our stainless, a lot of stainless. So, if you've come this far in the video, um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, do all that good stuff, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's us pressing up some aluminium for the day. We have got a few things on the else that we're doing today. Probably do a bit of a strip out of aluminium wire, not aluminium wire. You know, we've got that to do anyway. Um, we've still got a whole heap down there. We're going to be doing some um, stripping out of some good stuff like this stuff down in here. Like it's good thick stuff. Uh, there's some good stuff in that. Um, and some, got to get all the coating off that. So that way we get a bit more money. We don't like sending it with a lot of plastic. So anyway, till next time. Happy dumpster diving, and uh, I'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio, everyone.